it we'll be together oh i have green hair on top and brown hair on bottom you do did you redo the greenness because it seems more green when you shot that photo of all your hair doing this, was that more green? There was light behind me. Aha. And you could see, you could just like really, I, I, there was there was a window. I was in front of a window. So you could just really see the green. Um, and when I'm doing this, the light is such that you can't really see the green that much. Um, yeah, because cause it is dark underneath. Because it's not, it wasn't all bleached. So it's kind of dark and and green, mm -hmm. but a lot of it was because the parts of this bleach is bleached, and it's quite green. It's very green, but um, no. The answer to your question is that was magic, and I was I I had arranged my hair so you can like see the green, and there was the light was shining on me so you could like see the green, and there was even a filter, an Instagram filter on it. Yeah, the forest witch filter. Sure. Mm. Makes sense. So now if I can only get my hair to be voluminous like that, like every day, I literally woke up like that. Like my hair kind of like, I'm like, Ugh. actually, I'm digging this. I'm feeling this hair. So I put makeup on and, and took a photo of my bed head. And that's what that was. Yeah. That's the story <clears throat> of my Instagram photo. <clears throat> Um, I just recently got an Instagram. Let me guess what your first post was. Yes. <laughs> Cat. No, it was barbecue. Bacon wrapped barbecue oh. pork loin. So there's there's only three things you, you know, uh, message about. Cat, meat, and um, candles. That's right. You you really have been posting a lot of food porn, the meat porn. Oh, I've been getting a lot. I've been getting into the meat porn a lot because because uh, my buddy's uh, my buddy's been doing it now for a while, and he he's finally doing um, competitions and things like that. So I, I go and help him out with a lot of things. So so Navox, are you prepared? to talk about the two bosses of this race. Sure, we can we can talk about the two bosses this evening. Not a problem. Um, cool. I didn't put a lot of information in the notes about that. I just going to let you go. But um since there's only two bosses, uh we're also going to um troll you for a little while and ask you a few questions. Okay. So, I probably won't be able to answer them, which is awesome. <laughs> It'll be like what's your podcast? Sure. Um, the converted like Navox is. <laughs> I want the audience to all to know that Barf showed up in his underwear, and I had to go tell him to change. That was a white T-shirt. It wasn't underwear. I changed because I was afraid that it would be too bright on the camera, and it had nothing to. It was an undershirt. It was a white t-shirt. It was a white t-shirt that was recently worn underneath a work shirt. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Frasley's definitely here. Winchester's here. Hey, Frasley. Hey, Winchester. What's up? Let's see. Any chance we can get some love over off in the guild, Frasley? So everyone's talking about Lady Gaga's Met Gala outfit. Outfits. When I say everybody, it's just, uh, why is Frank Ocean on my... Why is what? Frank Ocean failed the Met Gala. I don't know what that is. Isn't he the guy that robbed the Bellagio? 
No, you're thinking a different. Yeah, so everyone's all dressed up and he's like wearing a, a Prada hoodie, like a pullover. Um. <laughs> Okay. What is going on with this thing? Message sent. Thank you. Doesn't he run around with a guy who looks like Brad Pitt? No, it's Brad Pitt and someone who looks like Julia Roberts. I liked that joke. I don't know if it was a good joke, but I liked it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. I liked it. Thank you. Um... Let's I mean, see. when they made it in the movie, like what you just said was also funny. But like when they made that oh. joke in the film, I I don't know if it was a good, good joke, oh. but I liked it. Oh, and she looks nothing like Julia Roberts. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember about that film. If I'm totally honest, it was the second one, right? Don't oh, yeah. Wow, is that going to be the new uh, Sal background image? What? Yeah, that's it. Oh, did you not see the one that I tweeted? You should go to my Twitter right now and look at my most recent photos. And you'll know the one I'm talking about immediately when you see it. The green hair one? Uh, I see a video of you wide-eyed in front of a mariachi singer, oh, keep, I guess. Keep going. Keep Let's going. Keep it's going. a few more days. No, look at my photo. Don't like go look at my feed. Yeah, I'm looking at media. Okay. I see I the you're like bleeding from the face on Dark Moon Herald. Yes, that one. Forest witch, man on fire. No, I, that that was the one with the one with the blood in it. Okay, why, so what happened with the blood? Why, why are you, you bleeding? Why'd you bleed? Because I sneezed. Okay. I've been using a lot of flonase. Tis the season for flonase, and uh, I I violently sneezed during the podcast, and then like turned around and like boof. <laughs> then I started laughing. There's just like blood all over me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's fresh blood. Wow. <laughs> We're losing. We're losing people. You should consider getting your sinuses replaced. Yeah, I would I would get replaced. that checked out. No, I'd used I mean I was dried up. Uh, listen, it's been a it's been a rough kind of It was I was dried up. Weeks. Hang on guys, got to do a show. <laughs> I'm good. It's been a minute for me on that. <laughs> it's been a minute. I still dream about it. Everybody talking about the lines at BlizzCon, Sal perks up. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if there's ever a weekend that I could use that, I'll tell you what. <laughs> but did I tell you about the time where I like had an apartment in Costa Rica for almost two months? Yeah, that's an off-air conversation, I think. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> um, well, basically, you, you, you know, from, from context clues, you, you already know the story. Sounds like it. You know, um, yeah. I was even offered a job. I could have stayed in Costa Rica. And I said, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> And I, I left. I was offered a job, and I didn't take it. Instead, I took a job in Russia. You know, where it's nice. I went to Russia. Instead, at the end of winter, when everything was melting, <laughs> it was the worst six months of my life. That's when I got hit by a train. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's it has... Been, what? 
what? You can't just gloss over, that's when I got hit by a train. That's not the ending of a story. Yeah. You ended your story with the beginning of a story. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> And that's when I'm, the doctor said both my eyes were lazy and it was the best summer ever. I mean, I've known all y'all long enough to have told you the story. No, I've never heard the story of you getting hit by a train. It's, I mean. Uh, was this like a Roadrunner coyote painted the, the, the thing onto the <laughs> cave situation? Well, um, no, it was a subway train, the Metro. Uh, the Tverskaya stop downtown at Moskva. And I missed the train. It was just fine because they came every three minutes. Evidently not. You said the train hit you. <laughs> yeah, the train didn't miss me. You didn't miss um, the train. So I was like at the front of the train and the door shut. And I was like, okay, it's fine. I'll just, you know. And uh, so... And I say that I'm at the front of the train because what you need to know is the back of the train was going full speed when it got to me. And uh, the rear view mirror was 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 kind of broke, <laughs> kind of coming this way, and my hand was too close to the train. And thwap! I shattered my, my wrist to a bunch of pieces. And let's see, can you see this scar? Yes. Right yes, I can. Yeah. Yeah, that... I, I'm not going to describe it, but I, I had to put it back together. And then, then this, there was this cut here that was like going everywhere. And you then I surgeons just in that up country. You had to do it your own. Well, no, it just started bleeding a lot. And um, I happened to have a bandana in my pocket. I don't know why. I just, that morning I put a bandana on my pocket. I never do that. That day I did. Someone told me I was going to get hit by a train, and um, some kind, I guess I was in shock. You know, uh, <laughs> I'd uh, say, and <laughs> it's like a homing beacon went off in my head, like go go go, because I barely remember. I remember being on the train and like dripping blood on the floor, mm. and all these people were just like, <clears throat> like looking the other way, like because <laughs> in Russia, no one's going to try to help you. <laughs> um, uh, if this had happened in Korea, they'd be they would have mobbed me to try to help me, you know. But this was Korea's in right next door. Russia's a big country, eh? Um, I know. So are I all not the countries not on the coast? I anyway I, cities. All the cities are they not all on the coast? Moscow is definitely not a coastal city. I live in New Jersey. The it's... heck do I know about places? <laughs> Here be dragons. And anyway, and then, so the next, Eat it. So, so I woke up, I, I just like, just went home. I don't remember getting home. I wasn't drunk or anything, but I just. In Russia, just, you're probably drunk. Yeah, but you left pieces of yourself in the subway. There was pieces of the subway in myself, though. Uh, months you later, traded. I was picking like glass you're, out of. You're part huh? subway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and the next day. I uh, woke up at like 7 a.m. just going, ow! And then my, my arm was like swollen because it was broke in a bunch of pieces, <laughs> you know? And I just like homing beacon went off and I, went, I had to go home now type thing and I went to sleep. So I was on the train bleeding and the next thing I noticed, next thing I know it was 7 a.m. and I was waking up yeah, going, ow, you know? Like peeling my band bandana off. Um, so I've called my friend, uh, to, uh, Anna to, uh, um, the I'm sniper? like, Hey, uh, she, no, uh, she, uh, I don't know. It's a Saturday. Like, I don't know how to go to a doctor in Russia. You know, no one speaks English. I don't speak Russian. Um, and why were you in Russia? I had a job there. Okay. Um, and uh, you would think I would have called my boss or something, but I, I don't even know that I had her number. But um, so my friend Anna called around, found a hospital that took my insurance because there weren't that many and brought me there to fix me up. And it just so happens that Anna, um, my friend, uh, uh, back then she was a prostitute, um, which is a, is, a, is a profession 
that one pays taxes on and, and you know like it's just a job uh you know and i knew what bar she worked at yeah <laughs> you, you know and uh so uh i i got hit by a t- train went home and called my f- friend uh in the morning and a prostitute took me to the hospital to get patched up that's the story there's an awful lot to unpack there, but I feel like probably <laughs> what we should do instead is start the show. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that's that's all. That's that's what happened. And oh my gosh, Skibet is in the chat room, ladies and gentlemen. An escort to the hospital. Fraz, you're oh man. Oh, I can't handle you escort. right now. <laughs> I can't even do it, man. <laughs> No, this is not part of the show. Um, so this show is already a train wreck. Oh, look at Exclavier with the puns. We're just going to keep doing it. Puns. Let's ride the pun train. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, you know, the, the thing is, we have been off the air for a few weeks, and people aren't used to us being... Um, uh, Live. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why we have a small but active chat room tonight, and... Uh, just, just so our live audience understands, uh, you know, uh, the big reason why it's been, a f- the reason why it's been a few weeks has been because c- of my health. Um, yeah, that, yeah. So, uh, we're, we're back on track now and, uh, we'll be going with raid spotlight, raid team spotlights in two weeks. Uh, that was a smash to listen to, uh, you've broken up about it, Winchester. Um. Thank you, Frasley. So, um, and everything everything is good uh, with me now. So that is great. Just say that the train was rushing to you. Oh, this is, oh my. Spasiba, niet. Okay. Um, I think we can start, Mr. Uh, Navox. Do you have any questions no. about what's going on? No, no, I'm looking at the show notes. Everything looks good there, so. So you're going to have a green screen without, like, a green screen thing behind you? What's that? You're going to have your green screen without, like, a thing behind you? <clears throat> no, 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 no. You know, I, I go and set up the fun stuff, and then it always causes issues whenever you try to use your, you know, other camera and things like that, so. Okay. All good. About DOS chat. And, uh... See, how do you how do you know oh, that Navox hasn't streamed in a while? Oh, some good questions tonight here. Let's see here. <laughs> Is the converted purple, or do we have a color effect? What does that mean? The boxes what? are purple today. I have a whole bunch of different color boxes. Yeah, the overlay. Yeah, it, it changes from week to week. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Barf does a good job with that, doesn't he? It literally hasn't changed since last time, but it's because we haven't been here in a month, and I figured no one would notice. And Frasley wasn't here last time, I don't think. That's true. Also, um, so let us let us t- t- turn arts. Yes. I have to assume you were the one trolling Ash on Twitter today. Me never. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I was. I was living for that. <laughs> I was like, why am I getting so many messages <laughs> on our Twitter? And I was like, I had to stop on? for dinner and stuff. And I was like, oh, we'll continue this later. But yes, that was me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if y'all saw that. but He thinks was... he won. Listen, when you get in a gift war, you got to be able to bring it. I had the last gift technically, and it has been two and a half hours. So I'm saying... Winner. Thank you both for saying GIF, too. That's how it's pronounced. <laughs> not GIF or anything. This isn't a Jiffy Loop. I'm just saying right. they'll call it Scuba. All right. It's <laughs> not a <laughs> Jolden Retriever. <laughs> okay. Okay, M- Mr. Barf, and you're going to record it? Yeah. All right. We'll try that local recording thing, and I'll see if I can't grab, like, a solid MP3 or something out of the whole thing. I, I assume Audacity or something will let me do that, or I'll have to rip it somehow. I'll figure it out. It's not something I've tried recently, but I'm sure I've got it. Um, yeah, we'll get it to you. We'll give it a shot. Thank you. Well, well let's uh, let's let's see how that works. Mm-hmm. And if it's not a lot of work for you, then maybe it's something we do. And if it sounds good, maybe it's something we do. 
I would be surprised if it were a lot of work. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. Water. Okay. I'm, I'm good to go. I will be in just a sec. I forgot to change this. I still can't like, I, okay. Getting, getting pneumonia um is has still affected me so i so right now i can't do like regular laughter so my laughter is like <laughs> no, more like because <laughs> <laughs> because i can't like, do, like i can't like laugh like i normally do <sighs> yeah <laughs> be sure to make fun of me for that as much as you want cool i all right let's hit it Hit record, start a uh, marker, and we're going to go live in five, four, three. You're listening to The Converted Podcast, the podcast about the guild Convert to Raid on Airy Peak U.S., Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 149 of the Converted Podcast. Your... Stop. Hang on. Slobs is freaking out on me. It's saying uninspected. Oh, there it goes. Did I lose the stream at all? Did, is everyone still here? Chat room, you guys still here? Okay, that was weird. Um, It wouldn't let me change the scene. And then, like it said, Slobs has encountered an error, so I just assumed everything was bad. All right, let's try it one more time. Five, four, three. You're listening to the Converted Podcast, the podcast about the guild Convert to Raid on Airy Peak US. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 149 of the Converted Podcast, the World of Warcraft podcast all about the Convert to Raid Guild on Airy Peak US. Today is Monday, May 6th, 2019. It's just about 6.23 p.m. Airy Peak local time. Thank you all very much for joining us. Sal, what's up this episode? In this episode, we have Crucible of Storms is here and with the loot. Your converted shoutouts, Terrarts with the Guild Haps, and <gasps> Navox is here. That's right, everybody. Oh. I am Bartholomew the Paladin, and you heard her right, folks. Joining us this evening is a very familiar character in the CTR Guild. Navox, how you doing tonight, man? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely I am the CTR anytime. troll. You know What's up? Yes. <laughs> I'm the CTR troll. You are. <laughs> I thought you were a Col Tyran these days. I am. I'm leveling up my Col Tyran. I'm also leveling up my Maghar Orc. So, yeah. Oh, man. That's fantastic. I can't wait to talk about that. Uh, yeah. Also joining us, as always, is Turarts the Hunter. Turarts, what have you been up to? Uh, it has been a crazy, it's been like, what, three weeks now, four weeks? Something some, along those some, lines? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. It has been crazy. Um, what I've been up to, so wow, all about the grinding. I'm trying to get mats and money and gold and all kinds of things and rep because I've been lazy. And so that is what I've been doing in wow. Uh, we had our Overwatch night. Tink and I finally did. And I still suck at that game. <laughs> Tink gets tequila in him and then Tink gets a little mouthy. <laughs> so... Tink? Really? Listen, Tink's got a mouth. Tink's got a mouth, and it is hilarious. And he's from the South, and he has an accent. We all know that. But the more he drinks, the more that comes out, and the y'alls and the draws start happening. And so that was kind of hilarious. Um, Ash and another uh, CTR guildie joined us that night, but that was fun. And then I finally get to talk about Bottle Spark real quick. So, like, Ooh. for um, two months now, I've been like, hey, guys, this Bottle Spark thing's happening. Um, we were – so we're a startup. And we got accepted, accepted, <laughs> new word. We got accepted into an accelerator for startups, which there's lots of companies out there. Well, they'll invest money in you, take you through a boot camp to help you get more money. Um, Generator is the one we got accepted, and it started with thousands of apps, and they took five, and we were one of the five. So that is very exciting. I went to Madison um, 
not last weekend like yesterday, but the weekend before that um, to meet all of them and to get some work done. And then I go back in June where we pitch in front of like actual companies, like companies that have real names, like companies. I don't know any of them yet, but companies who invest. Yeah. Like actual yeah, like, investors. Yeah. Like uh, Amazon's been there before and Walmart. I don't know. I, I don't know anything's on the table, so who knows, but it's kind of a big deal. I'm going to be in a skirt and heels and there's PowerPoints involved. I don't know. It's exciting. It's a, it's an opportunity that may lead to me being able to work in this industry kind of. So that's pretty fun Excellent. and pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's finally, I can finally announce that that's happened. It's exciting. Um, and if you're, if you're a streamer, um, not to like, shamelessly plug but i'm going to you might want to check out bottle spark because right now we're kind of we're doing something where we're paying you just for streaming if you just do a couple things so like you can even if you have like five viewers like it's not that many but it starts to add up after a while so i'm pretty excited about it i talked about it on my stream on saturday but yay it's kind of a big deal and i don't know it's still new but other than that you've been, you've been streaming hot lately and when i say hot i mean <laughs> like i saw those pictures um yeah so i streamed uh saturday and i went i have this shirt that i love and you can see it's a picture on twitter but i'm always super self-conscious and i decided to finally f it we're just gonna wear it um and taryn gregory happened to stop by and funny thing is i did a scare stream a while ago and had scare alerts on for donations <laughs> and i forgot to change that so some so my my follows weren't something wasn't working it was follows i think or something wasn't working i'm like i don't know why this one isn't working but another one is so someone decided to donate and my scare alert came on and so like we're sitting there chatting and terry Griggs there and all of a sudden i scream like a little girl which i am a girl <laughs> but it was bad like it was awful uh thankfully no one was there that's a clip master so don't think that exists but that was a moment That's of me. Still we just we just need to know a timestamp. Draven Dresden oh my is God. here right now. It was uh... Yeah, it was I was yeah, I screamed it was awful. Um but yeah, we're sitting there chatting and all of a sudden that happened and then Yep. But yeah, thank you. I am um, it was the follows, I think that was broken, but it was it was a lot of fun. Yes, I've been stepping outside of my comfort zone and just not caring what people think. So well, there you go. There's that. But that's enough about me because I've talked a lot. So chat room, guess what? We can still take your shout outs if you have them, which it's been a month. So you should have something to shout out at least. So get them to us. Get them in the uh, chat room. Chester in the chat room has already put a shout out. So uh, we can uh, add it yeah, to the list. Go ahead and stick that in. Stick it in. All right. Well, uh, we got our update from T, so uh, how about you, Sal? What have you been up to? Well, goodness gracious, it's been it's been a minute since we've actually had a show, uh, so I'm really, really happy to have everyone here. Um, if anyone wants a full, like, detailed account, I think I, I went above and beyond uh, two episodes ago on the Dark Moon Herald <laughs> podcast. Um, there, there's about a 10 minute explanation of back surgery and getting sick and all that. And I'm going to, uh, you know, if you want to hear that, you know, switch podcasts, uh, just so you know, uh, we're, we're back. Uh, health is good. Health is better. And uh, gosh, uh, I'm really happy to see you guys. Um, <laughs> and we're going to be back with the uh, big like raid team reports uh, next week uh, or, or two weeks from now. So uh, that'll be that'll be really great to talk to raid teams. Um, that's that's probably my favorite thing that we do, you know. Other than you know um, having uh, Navox on, of course. And <laughs> um, but the uh, my other favorite thing to do is find out how and what's going on with Barf lately. Uh, it's been a busy month. I'll tell you that, guys, very right now. It has been a busy, busy month. Um, yes, it has. About two weeks ago, Silver finally moved in. Um, Yippee! Yay! I, uh, congrats. Thank you. Um, I caused only minor property damage with the moving van, which I feel like is probably better than I, I should have hoped for, really. Um, that guy didn't need that paint on his garage. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, it... Uh, she she had everything in these like huge totes and everything and we I was amazed that nothing got broken 
Uh, we it drove from Chicago to um, I live on the Jersey side of the Delaware River right across from Philly. So it was like 14 hours total on the road with stopping for pee breaks and everything because we had uh, the animals in the car. It was like a whole orchestra. It was like a whole orchestrated thing, but everything went well. Uh, everything went to plan. Um, still unpacking, uh, as you can, as the video audience can see, I'm still sitting in the same room that I had been sitting in. But eventually, uh, all the streaming stuff and the monitors and the computers and all that stuff is going to go up into a different room, and we're going to set up like a whole oh. studio. Um, so that's happening. We got like a whole office set up because she's doing the work from home thing. Um, there's Tucker. I saw the giant video dad. audience is, gets to see the Aww. dog walking around. He's new to the house. He's liking it so far. Um, so things have been good. Things have been smooth. Um, on top of that, did Mama Silver approve of me? Yeah, we've met a few times. She likes me. I hope. I think. I assume. She told me she likes me. I don't know if that's the truth, but she's <laughs> told me that she likes me. Um, yeah, so so that was big. Uh, I haven't done any streaming in probably three or, or four weeks now. I said that I would be on vacation for at least two weeks. It's been longer than that for sure. Um, but like, I just don't know what the schedule is going to look like now because I mean, everything mm -hmm. in the house is different. Like we want to do like, you know, it's, the timing is everything is different. So that's something that we're going to end up figuring out. But I mean, I know I've got several things lined up that I definitely want to do stream wise. Like there's, there's all these different weird, cool opportunities going on there. Um, but, but now you are plus three animals, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we got uh, Tucker three. was the dog that just walked through the camera. He's mm -hmm. actually laying right there. Um, and then Pira and Boo are the two cats wandering around the house somewhere. I don't think any of them are in this room right now, or else I would point the camera at them. But they're they're somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. They're probably upstairs and looking at each other. I saw that you guys built or put together some kind of dance dance revolution floor she already had the big metal ddr pads she just already had those oh, nice. uh, how does um, someone have something like that <laughs> i still don't know she already had one and she got another that was just like it from a friend and apparently they don't make those anymore so like we have to kind of be a little gentle with them but um right now they're sitting on the other side of this wall that i'm touching and there's a big, uh, a big TV that we didn't really have a use for until we realized that we could set it up in that room and put the pads in front of it because the floor in there is like the concrete floor. Like there's no shake, mm. there's no rumble. So um, the idea is to use that room as like a, oh, it's like a bar with like, you know, where we keep the liquor on the shelves and we'll have a TV on the wall and all this. And oh, we'll bust out the D DDR pads if we really want to impress somebody. You know what I discovered is I'm bad at that game oh me too <laughs> i'm really well, just take some coordination game. you know you just do it over and over again though i mean um i was thinking real hard on it and there's probably a way to <laughs> capture all that and stream it but i don't know if that's something that i'm willing to do because it would be embarrassing to do so <laughs> although it would be a top-down camera it would draw this they would draw the, the viewers <laughs> in for sure uh, but secondly, the stream machine is going to be all the way on the other side of the house, so I'd have to figure out like something else to to capture it all. It'll have to be a whole uh, orchestra. Listen, thing. Asmongold has been streaming like his gardening lately. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what he's using to do that, but he's been doing that some kind of mobile something. Well, yeah, you know? but like, so. I would want to not just cap the camera footage. I would also want to cap the the arrows flying and like have everything like overlaid real would. nice which i could totally do if i just ran it into the back of this pc like i can i have an input on this that would do that but this computer is going to be 50 feet that way when we're all said and done so you're totally going to do this we're gonna, dance dance revolution on barf stream uh within the next two months guys yeah let's do it i'll be fine yeah <laughs> let's 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 let, let's do that let's do it and uh and you got to get uh, Squinty. Yeah. To, to oh, visit. I would totally have Squinty over to play DDR. We tweeted him. <laughs> made sure he knew we were doing it. He was all happy about it. Oh, uh, it's gosh. been stuff like that. It's been, it's been like working hard at getting everything unpacked and set up and put, put away and moved from where it, I thought it needed to be until like, oh, well, it can't really be there anymore because now a cat tree is going to go there. So we got to move it over here. Like it's just rearranging the house and then like plopping in just a mess on the couch to watch Game of Thrones and then go right to sleep. 
Um, that's been like my life. Um, however, you know what? I feel like we've kind of covered me enough at this point, right? We got me going on. That, that's all right. We Everybody understands. Everybody knows what the barf has been up to. Fantastic. Tonight, the reason we're all here today is to talk about uh, the la- the latest rate that has just done d- done did come out the crucible of storms. But uh, before that, you know, we still haven't gotten our update from Navox. Navox, <laughs> this is your first time on the show. Am I understanding that right? Yep, absolutely. Yep. Thanks for having me on. That's not true, though. <laughs> what? That he's not thankful to be on. Yeah, that I'm not thankful to be on first time. First, the the the, the <clears throat> last part of that sentence is the lie. <laughs> yes You've been on this show before that's right i have been on this show before i love coming on the converted it was my introduction into podcasting so yes yes uh you know. navox uh you used to be a regular cast member that's right i used to be a cast member just like the disney company we're all cast members here <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like Nav- navox ladies and gentlemen is the reason why uh we do this live these days he did bring us into streaming well, on twitch hold on you guys well yeah but you guys did it prior to that you guys were on google hangouts i mean that was you no know, we at tried the time. to do that <laughs> we failed we had people we had people wearing paper masks on because they didn't want to show their faces and stuff and that was, we allowed happen. to do that? that? Oh, that was some stuff back in the day. Yeah, we had some random people just, you know, but. Uh, that was its own story. And it that was it. <laughs> um, I always Gizmo. Managed... <laughs> what? Another, go ahead. Oh, no, it said uh, Gizmo. Uh, uh, Gizmo Lord, you know. Right. The, the, uh, the, the very right. first podcast he was ever on was our show, was the Convert to Raid podcast. He was the original <laughs> troll. Except he was wearing a mask. That's right. He was the original <laughs> troll. Yes. Because right. we didn't want anyone to know who he was because yeah. he had done, uh, he had trolled so hard. Oh, yeah. He was trolled in the guild so hard and had so many people mad at him. Yeah. <laughs> that we um invited him i didn't know who he was he had a he had a troll twitter and i contacted him i'm like okay so you've really upset a lot of people in the guild um do you want to tell your side <laughs> Mom, and he came that was a day. The mask on and did <laughs> <Yeah>. it <laughs> and the guild was in its infancy with all of that yes <laughs> and that was some drama dude oh, yeah. back back when the guild first started that was oh, a yeah. huge drama uh oh the so, funny stuff and now uh now he's like you know doing his own podcast yeah. stuff doing the convert to raid stuff doing the just all you know um he's uh he's his own brand now yeah and it all started with the converted <laughs> anyway oh. um now, uh, us being live with the chat room um which is now such a normal just a staple for our show um uh, it came with uh nabox so um he that that is if there's one thing you left us with if there's one mess yeah. you left us with nav it's it's, it's twitch <laughs> <laughs> goodness well let's back up for a second and i want to talk about berserker Yes, let's talk about Berserker. <laughs> you and him seem to be really clicking on your guys' podcast. It's amazing to listen to every episode. Yes. Remind our listeners a bit about what your podcast is about. So if you have not listened to the Unshackled Fury podcast, um, we are a uh, we are an alliance-based podcast primarily, but it's um, we rage about topics in World of Warcraft with a little bit of tongue-in-cheek action going on there. So when you listen to the podcast, keep in mind that the stuff we rage about, you know, may not, uh, don't, don't take it seriously, you know, so just keep that in mind, but you know, you can follow the show. We now have a Twitter account set up. We have a Twitter account set up. That took two years. I know. And I'm so glad he got it set up. (laughs) Uh, it's at unshackled underscore fury. And you can follow the man himself over there at at Berserker Rage. He's out there, at uh, out there on Twitter. And um, but yeah, we uh, you know I I started listening to his show because 
Berserker's super smart. Like he is just one of the smartest people I know. He is the most, he's one of the most intelligent people I know. And I loved listening to his shows um, and his insight into the background of some of the things. And he'd go into lore and, and go into, um, you know, a lot of topics like he, you know, I keep bringing up the topic about nostalgia and that's what got me hooked. Like he, he was talking, he was talking about nostalgia and it, you know, it hit me and I was just hooked and I was like, Oh man, this, you know, this guy's, this guy's really fun to listen to. So he's, he's really the brains behind the whole operation that goes on there. I'm, I'm, I'm a sidekick at best. And, uh, but yeah, it, you know, definitely tune in. We record every other, we're recording every other Sunday. We, he is, he's, he's getting, he, he's getting to the point where he's like, let's do a show. We have to, we have the consistency is key. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. So, I mean, you know, we're rocking and rolling with that stuff. So it's, it's, we're having a good time doing it too. I think the last couple of shows we did, um, I, I actually went back and listened to the last couple of shows we did and it, it, it took a while. I, I was telling him on the show, it takes a while for a group to click whenever you, you know, it takes a while. Like for example, when uh, I came on the show, it took a while for Sal Bell and I to, to click. It took a, a, a few shows, you know, and then the evolution of the show goes on and, and then you start to have that natural conversation and things like that. We're finally there. It took a long time, but it, you know, it's, it's there now and it, it, we're really enjoying just doing the podcast together. It's, you know, it's great. Fun times. The Unshackled Fury podcast, I'm going to say legit, is one of my favorite uh, podcasts to listen to. And a lot of it has to do with your um, with, with your chemistry with Berserker, I'll, I'll yeah. say. Um, and uh, y- you guys do rage because you're warriors. Right? But I get, I get a little too enthusiastic about things. I'll get enthusiastic about the wrong things. I'll go off on a tangent <laughs> about something that's absolutely wrong. And he'll listen to it and he'll be like, I hear what you're saying. But it's all wrong. Let's talk about this instead. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I, I mean, it's it's great. So, <laughs> uh, so Berserker the, does need someone to temper him. Sometimes he did, he did get me into the lore. He he actually got me into the lore aspect of of World of Warcraft. So I mean, I, and I've been I've been I went down that rabbit hole, and it just you know, I I really really enjoy the storyline that and the, and the background and all that stuff that the you know the the writers have you know, given us every single time they put out one of those, um, with the chronicles, you know, those things are yes. great, you know? So I have them right here. So um, I'm not, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, um, I haven't spoken to you face to face since you did this to me. What did I do? But I used my data, not Wi-Fi, to download a two hour episode <laughs> on April 1st. Oh, uh, yes, that. That was our 50th show. Your 50th (laughs) show had a special, had a special like uh, interview with with someone at Blizzard. I downloaded it and listened to the intro and said, all right, some Unshackled Fury. And it was just dead air for two hours. It was dead (laughs) air. That is amazing. We actually put that together. I, I remember getting to work, sitting down and... Actually, no, I'm sorry. I texted him on the way into work. It was 7 o'clock. So it was 4 a.m. He got it. And and I was like, we should have done something. He's like, what do you want to do? He's like, I'll think of something. And then he put it together. And he did it. The way he clipped it all together with using past vocals and things like that was great. I I thought that was brilliant. So, yeah. Well, I called you uh, the couple of the, the two of you some rude names on Twitter. Yeah, that yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Now, actually, hey, I had a question for you. I wanted to back up a little bit here and and talk about something um, that I saw. So, Sal, you're in NYC, and I wanted to and, and Barf, you actually may have also been to one of these bakeries. We recently, my wife and I recently watched a Netflix show called Chef's Table, Volume Four, Pastry with Christina uh, Christina Tosi. And there's something called a milk bar, the milk bar bakeries. Have you, have you been to one of those? Stop, stop, stop. Milk bar. You're talking about like the celebrity chef milk bar. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, honey, honey, honey. Have you tried that crack pie? I want to order one of those online. I can walk to a milk bar. (laughs) Oh my God. Those things look amazing. So if you guys haven't seen it, look at the chef's table volume four. Uh, It's, 
I was like, I was like, let me ask Sal about. I was gonna text you about. I'm like, no, screw it. I'm gonna ask on the show. Uh, I want like that thing. Do, do you know what Milk Bar is? It is a hole in the wall, uh, um, soft serve ice cream joint. <laughs> really? So, That's all yeah, it is. Wow. It's not like a fancy thing. It's it's soft serve ice cream, and I don't know if they always have the crack pie, but um, but they always have the corn cookies. Oh, oh yeah. So and you just go in and you just got like soft serve ice cream, but it's like the best soft serve ice cream you've ever had in your life. It's because like, they they mix the milk with cereal, right? Isn't that the secret? I, that's I get, love like, that. That's what I got. I got <laughs> cereal milk soft serve ice cream. Yeah, the cereal milk flavored soft serve ice cream, and then they put like Captain Crunch crunches on mm. on the top. I can't yeah. tell you how good it is. I can't. I, I, yeah. I can only imagine. So, and, and like, we're, we're trying to watch our sugar and stuff. And I'm just like, man, we watch that. And I'm just like, I want one of those pies. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I really do. <laughs> it's like a banana pie, right? Like, I, I don't know what it is. It's just, it, they, they were on the show. I remember she said Anderson Cooper was, you know, ranting and raving about it. And she, he's like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And I mean, she's, she's super famous now with all this stuff. And I was like, man, so they're in NYC, they're in Washington, DC, they're all up and down the coast, but we don't have one. So I didn't realize they had gone outside of New York. Yeah. Cause I've yeah. been to the original one too. Uh, but it's just, it's, it's just an ice cream joint. It, it, there's nowhere to sit. It just, you go in, you stand in line and get yourself served. Yeah. So yeah. now that we've gone off the rails there, well, <laughs> we're going to keep it off the rails just for a little bit because Absolutely. I want to talk about something. You sure. know you love you love ice cream and you love you love Berserker and trolling Sal, but what about cats? Oh, I am a huge cat person. I love my cats. I have four cats, and they are my babies. So they're not around here right now. They all deserted me. You had but one yes. earlier. If you're I had one earlier. Yeah, that was Abby. And actually, I'll tell you a funny story that um, <clears throat> I love cats so much that. This past, oh my god! So this is this is actually going to go off the rails and a little dark, <laughs> like for real, a little dark. Okay. Like I uprooted my dead cat to have it cremated because we are getting ready to move, and I didn't want to leave her here. My very first cat, Charlotte. I went in the backyard, and I buried up uh, my cat. And I took it to a pet crematory and, and she's there right now getting cremated. So I can, so when I, when I, when I, yeah, so I, I actually buried this cat in the ground 10 years ago. So when I uprooted her, it was just bones and I was it, very fortunate that, uh, there was something left, you know, it was, uh, it was very strange, but yeah. So when charlotte charlotte got real sick and we had a really crap vet and um you know it i didn't know what to do with my cat at the time so we took her to an animal er and the animal er the vet's like you know she's got a huge tumor and uh -huh. she stopped eating she stopped drinking she stopped doing all this and, and she was just lethargic and i felt so bad and i'm like you know she's a very very old cat i was her right. last home you know she was a uh she was a, um, she went from home to home to home and I, I felt really bad. And, and I saw her, her photo, um, up there on a, I was looking around. I, I thought I had, I don't, I don't have one here, but anyway, uh, so I, I saw her photo on a, on one of the boards at work. So I was like, I want that cat, you know, cause I was living it. I, I bought my house. I was lonely in the house. I didn't have any little critters running around. So I got this cat cat turned out to be the best cat in the world. Lap cat, everything. And, uh, so yeah, so, and then, uh, she got real sick and then I, um, you know, we had to put her down. And then when I brought her home, it was a, it was a world, like, it was just a real, uh, it was just like, we were trying to, I, I, my wife was inside. She was, she was upset. And I was just like, you know, in the past, all I do is I, you know, I bury my animals in the ground. I, I didn't think about having her cremated or anything like that. So. What happened was I wrapped her in this towel. She was in a box. I put the box. I, I, I must, I dug four feet in the ground with it. Oh, there she is. There she is. Yeah. So hang on, hang on. What, hang on. Lisa, just Lisa come up with a picture. Yeah. She, she came up with, a, she made a little, um, she made a, 
so what she did was one Christmas, um, she made a, a book for me with all of our cats in it. So, um, so yeah, so this was, the, I went around the building that actually, this was Charlotte and Charlotte, I ran around the building collecting all of her little, all of her little, uh, adoption things here. So that was my first cat. So anyway, long story short, we, I buried her box and all in the backyard and I didn't know what to expect, but what, what was keeping us from moving was honestly not wanting to leave her here. And I know that sounds crazy, but, um, so yeah, I went out and, and started digging and digging and digging. And what was crazy was the sprinklers went on right when I went outside, like the back backyard sprinklers went on and I'm like, this is a sign. And then, uh, so I'm like, I waited 30 minutes and then I started digging some more and digging some more, digging some more. And then the second set of sprinklers came on and I'm like, something's telling me you know, Adam, just leave the cat in the ground. This is, you know, this is some other power telling you to leave the cat in the ground. There's, but right when the sprinkler stopped, I looked down, there was a leg bone. And I'm like, oh, this is going to get messy. When I went into the dirt, <laughs> it's, it's not so bad. Honest to God, in the grand scheme of things, this wasn't so bad. It wasn't gruesome. It wasn't bad at all. Um, I had, the vet had put her on a plastic mat. The plastic mat had lasted you know, it's only been 10 years. So the plastic mat was intact. I was able to lift up underneath, lift her completely out, put her down and we had a box, put her in a box and I took her off and had her cremated. So we're going to get her back tomorrow and then we can leave. And it honestly is a big, huge relief, you know, off of our, uh, it's, a, it's a huge relief off my chest sure. to, you know, bring her with us. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know, she was a huge part of the family and, you know, for a short period of time, you know, and that was it. So yeah, I'm a little crazy when it comes to my, my kids, my, my cats. So, you know, we don't have regular kids. We have feline kitties. So, you know, that's, that's, uh, yeah. so we have Callie who was just in here. I could have grabbed her, but we had Callie, Frodo, Luna and Abby. So those are cat feline babies. So, but yeah. That was well, that you, was Friday. You, you broke her arts. <laughs> um, <laughs> broken. Um, <laughs> that yeah. Th uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so um, I put that in the notes with the intention of making fun of you, but now I can't do that. Uh, <laughs> you, you really are a troll, Navox. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that the, the, okay. So, uh, so you are are you moving? Uh, uh, do you have we, a house? We are, we are looking at homes, uh, but the thing is, you know, uh, looking at homes, I have not been like, I just haven't been in a place where I'm just like, God, I really want to, you know, I, I, we, we need to get the heck out of this area because one, one it's, you know, we, uh, we got bad neighbors across the street and things like that Two, It's just, it's time to move on. You know, we, um, uh, we got married, but we never moved out of the house. You know, we got married and then we just lived here. We never moved on. We never got our own house. We never moved on. So it was one of those things that we're trying to do. So, um, listen, you've been talking about that for five or six years that I've known you. Yeah. And, and uh, unfortunately every, the housing, the, the housing market just sucks in Florida. It really is. In South Florida it just sucks. It, it it's, it, if I want to, you know, we can move an hour, I can move an hour North of me, but then have a, you know, an hour and 30 minute drive south. I don't want to sit in traffic for that long. So the market's finally getting to that point where uh, we can, you know, finally make some moves and, and get the heck out of this neighborhood. So <laughs> I don't live in, I don't live in a bad neighborhood. It's just, it's a neighborhood that's on, on, on the downslope. <laughs> Well, Frasley in the chat room is apologizing for his contribution oh, to the Frasley, condition of your neighborhood. I, I wish, Frasley, listen, I wish you lived in my neighborhood. It, it would make the neighborhood so much. No, I mean to to make the you know we have a we have a a um we have an escort that lives across the street who constantly has these like sixty year old men come over to their house, uh, and you know it's just it's one of those things that's just blah, you know, just you know, bad stuff. But <laughs> are there any trains locally? Um, I mean, at this point, we're just we're. 
For those who weren't here for the pre-show, you should have been. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Tropicana train. That's about. It. <laughs> so uh, I was you mentioned Twitter earlier. Uh, yes, you've been kind of all over Twitter recently with. Um, besides a bunch of selfies of your new characters uh, a bunch of these oh, god, like sweaty yeah. forehead photos of the gymnasium oh god yeah yeah so what, what's oh. that all right so what what that was about was back in november uh last year i started um back in november i started uh working out and trying to lose weight and yeah. I was at I was at 350 pounds at the time. I am now at 323 pounds. So I mean, Ooh, I, yeah. I lost, lost you know lost a little bit of weight. But what's nice is um, what I've noticed is my weight fluctuates. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. And the nice thing is that even though my weight's fluctuating, my my body fat mass is going down and my muscle mass is going up. So that's, that's all I care about. I'm not really care. I'm not looking at a scale going, I want my weight to come down. I want my weight to come down. I'm just, I'm concentrating on just making it consistent, mm -hmm. doing stuff that I like to do. Cause one, I hate running. I freaking hate running. So mm -hmm. what do I do instead? I jump rope. I have a jump rope now and I jump rope in the gym and I jump rope and I lift weights and that's what I like doing. And it, it keeps me active. I do it every day. Um, I've been instructed by Sal to ask how much you bench, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, right now, my my max bench right now is only it's only 250 pounds right now. That is that is the maximum I can bench. I don't work out with that at all, but that's the max. I, I usually I usually work out with about 225 um, normal you know, just regular weights and, um, you know, and I, I'm doing about, uh, just, I'm using 90 pound, uh, barbells now instead, you know, I started real light and now I'm up to 90 pounds. And what I noticed it's just, you know, it's, it doesn't take very long to build that up. Um, it's just, like I said, it's consistency. I don't, I don't have a secret. I'm just, I, I just, and honestly, I'm I'm watching. I, I'm not really watching what I eat. I'm just making sure that I'm not eating a lot of junk, because yeah. I am a sugar fiend. I I also don't do soda, and if I get like soda's my thing. Like I love soda. I love Coke so much. Real sugar, like the McDonald's Coke. Oh my god, that's that'll put me down a bad path there. I love that stuff. Um, but I stopped, you know, drinking a lot of the sodas and bad stuff. I have my cup of coffee in the morning. I drink a lot of water. Uh, there's no, I don't have a secret. I don't have, I'm not doing like, you know, Frasley goes, who loves orange soda? I do. I love orange <laughs> soda. <laughs> I, I absolutely love orange soda. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, there's Frasley's no, dating there's himself no with this joke, but, but all right. <laughs> well, let's get back to video games for a little bit. Yeah. yeah video games for forever. Who was the raid team that you're on right now? I am with, so shameless plug, I am with the face pull raid team in CTR, of course, because I'm on the show and our, our <laughs> face pull team is in CTR. We are uh, an ahead of the curve raid team in Desire Lore and Crucible Storms right now. And we raid Tuesday and Thursday from 8.15 p.m. to 11.15 p.m. Eastern with an optional fun raid on Sunday. And yes, we are recruiting. I think every raid team in the guild is recruiting at the moment. We are also recruiting. We're trying to, you know, get into doing more mythic, but um, we're, we're getting hit with the attendance boss that we're getting hit, you know, all Perfect. that. So I think everybody, I think everybody gets hit with that. Um, but what's nice is we're able to bring people along that haven't had ahead of the curve. Like last week we went in one shot Jaina. We didn't think we were going to do it because we had Mecha Torque still such a pain in the butt uh -huh. fight. And, you know, we, we went in there and we're like, Oh, we're just going to blow away Mecha Torque. And nope, no, it took us two days to get through Mecha Torque. But then after we did that, um, we did uh, the next boss after the, the two boat mage boss. I forget what it's called off the top of my head. Blah. Completely out there. Forgot it. Chat room will help me out. But then we went in there and one shot Jaina. So, um, but yeah, but we are looking for DPS 
and a possible, you know, we have to talk about it in the raid team, but I think we might be looking for a tank as well. Cause right now I'm tanking. We I'm filling in, I'm filling in a tank role position um, with Lonnie, but um, I like to DPS too, but we are looking for, we're looking for a possible tank. We're looking for DPS. We're looking for heals. We're looking for everything. So, I mean, if you guys, if you, if you, if you're listening and you're an East coast, and you're an East coast person, or you prefer to raid on East coast time, you want to come raid with a fun group of people. We're not going to yell at you. Um, you know, we're trying to get into mythics, but we do what we can. So we're going to hit heroic. And then we do some fun stuff. Like uh, we'll go back and raid old school stuff to get some transmog. You know, we, lo- we love doing that kind of stuff too, but, but yeah. Okay. Well, we well, keeping on that theme. Yes. Okay. Uh, tonight we wanted to talk about crucible of storms. Yeah. New, new, new raid. Welcome change. Love it. Nice, a nice little change. Yeah. It is a nice little change because God battle that Dazara lore raid. I mean, I, I know people are just, uh, it's look, the raid's a great raid. It's there's great. nothing, there's nothing wrong with that raid, but it, it's a little long in the tooth already. You know, you've been hitting it now for a while and it's just, you know, it's nice to have a nice welcome to boss raid. It's a nice little snack. Yeah. And it you is know? a snack because you don't have any trash for the first boss. <laughs> You're right. You just go you right just, in. You just go right in. And if you really want to have some fun, you can even get mind control and kill your friends right off. Like there's like one boss. I think you pull that does a mind control mechanic. And you know, if, if you're really good at blasting down your, your teammates, have some fun doing that. I have, I have a person that I target Jade. She knows that I target her every <laughs> single time. I, I swap out to fury spec just on the off chance that I can get mind controlled so I can attack and kill her. So, um, that's a, yeah. that's a good teammate. That's a good teammate. <laughs> it's this, team uh, building. This, this raid has been out for a few <laughs> weeks now. Um, and we can even get the entire thing in LFR uh, because there's only, you know, two, two, two bosses. Um, so let's go around the table here and see who's done what in this new raid. Uh, Barf, what have you done in Crucible of Storms? I don't think I've logged on to World of Warcraft this year. No, that's not true. But it's been like it's been like four or five weeks. I, it really has been because it just everything else happened in the house. So I am completely like nowhere near this one. So I can't so wait I, to find out what it's like. Let's just say I knew the answer to these questions before I asked them. Uh, and I'm, so I'm going to go to Tur Arts now. I have done them in LFR. Um, that's actually what I did Saturday night. Um, LFR successfully? still successfully. Yeah, no, we okay. uh, the first boss we got we died one time each. So we had one stack of determination. Um, and that was more of even in LFR, there are still raid mechanics that you have to follow. Um, on the second boss, he does this dual purple thing of doom where one goes this way and yep. one goes this way. And you have to wait till your stacks fall off. So when you go through one, it's like a three count, not that big of a deal. And then you can go through the other one. Um, but you still have to follow along with the mechanics so you do need to know a little bit um and the last tip is the ads in the second boss only can be killed if you have the crown of lightning so you have to like activate that at some point in time and that's the only way they can be killed we're going to talk more about that later i'm absolutely sure but i was very surprised (laughs) that lfr had so many mechanics that required coordination it kind of made it feel like it was a real fight um i jokingly said we were gonna let's just do a normal run after this with the guild and see who wants to come but it took so long that i was like and about that, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I've I've gone into LFR a few times unsuccessfully, and a, a lot of it has to do with like how long I'm able to sit in a chair, which is when I'm getting a, a, a lot better. Um, I, I I need to get a standing desk. I think. Um, I tell you what, it is six weeks ago I wouldn't have been able to stand that long at all, but now I'm like it's more comfortable to stand. Uh, mm-hmm. So you you can tell that uh, everything's going well for me but i haven't been successful because i've only been lfr and i've just got you know i've gotten i've wiped like seven or eight times on the first boss in like three different lfrs <laughs> um like accumulatively like eight times um so uh that that's where i'm at uh but uh navox uh what have you done with yeah the we, we, storms? we cleared both of them in on heroic right so yeah we, yeah. we got ahead of the curve quickly. for both of them yeah, 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 we do it every yeah. week now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and I knew that. Fight. They're great fights. And I knew the answer to, to, to that question, and I knew that you would be the person to talk to mm. <laughs> about the Crucible okay. of the Storms. Um, 
I, I you know, talking about like Navox, talking about like Navox being a, a troll. Do you know that Facebook uh, does uh, raid at the same time the Rubber Chickens raid? Oh, I've been there. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I'll get Don't in tell there. Tell the story because I'm not poaching. <laughs> Okay, I get in there and I'll, I'll just be like, all right, where Navox at? And just in general, because I know y'all are in there. And then, um, but Navox likes to troll general chat in the raid. Hard. You troll oh, hard. I had, to, I had to turn that off. I had to turn that off. I thought you were going <laughs> to talk I thought you were going to talk about how I always ask you if you want to come raid with us. I always see you and you're not in the zone yet, but you're like, oh no, I'm going to raid with my raid team. And I was like, oh, okay. Because I forgot, I forgot the rubber chickens raid at the same time. Oh, listen, the but, rubber chickens oh, would not miss my DPS. But, they, they, yeah, <laughs> so, but um, I, I will say that I did enjoy trolling um, Desire Lore because there is there is this one raid group that just constantly recruits in general chat the entire time, and it's not it's not a CTR raid group. It's just this just another guild somewhere that just recruits at the same time. And uh, then I, I'm sure I'm sure you've seen general ch our general chat on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's the same thing. Like if you can bleep out the next couple things, it's like we're you know we're going to talk about the silence added to the show for dramatic effect. But yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I can't bleep it out. But you know what general chats like. it's it's horrible. Oh, you were mimicking general chat, and that's why you muted yourself. Yeah, because you know it's beep 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 beep. It's it's constant. You know. I appreciate I, you turning yourself off and, and not making me edit that. So wait, um, we can we can go a little G rated. We, more of it's like, let, let's try to make this PG rated. I think we could we could go PG, or we could just skip it all. Let's yeah. skip I it. Think. <laughs> we should what find out that? more about this raid. <laughs> yes yes so, thank you tur arts so you've got the two bosses the first one is the restless cabal and what i didn't quite understand about this fight and you guys if you if you know more about it the chat room knows more about it but we're actually doing Nazar. now listen i know this is not an old god the, no old god stuff this is not an old god expansion yes we're helping Nazar. Yes, he's an old god. This is not an old god expansion. All that being said and done, the first two fights that we're doing, we're helping this off out. That that's that's what we're doing. So the first fight, the Restless Cabal, you have you know the crowns. You're basically fighting the weapons that you're going to get to use on the second boss for Unat. Um, so I don't know the lore. I don't know the story behind it. All I know is that we are helping. We're trying to prove ourselves worthy to this old god, and um, because he has plans for us, um, you know, he just set forth that dagger free, you know. So now we've got to do something <laughs> with that dagger. Anyway, so right. for for the restless cabal, you know, uh, basically what people are going to want to do, um, you know, for from a tanking, I, I've only experienced this from a tanking perspective. Um, you, you have the main boss that's up. You got the you got fat boss, you got skinny boss. That's how we refer to them. And tanks are on the fat boss. You've got a range DPS on skinny boss. It's usually a, a, a shadow priest um, that, you know, has the skinny boss on them. Basically for the fight, you're going to want to, when the fight starts, you're on the main boss, the main fat boss. Then as the fight goes on, you get these other, you know, bosses the the skinny boss spawns these other ads basically what you're going to do is there's something you're going to space out the two crowns so healing co cooldowns and personals are up for both uh -huh. but aside from that order it doesn't matter for interrupt ads let one go interrupt interrupt one once right. interrupt the last one twice so three interrupts for each set of ads always focus the visage ad when he's casting the multi-dot and then cleave when he's not so we'll you know especially during the bubble uh visage thing that he does what we do is we will um actually i have it written down right here i had to write this down because we um what was it uh 
the way the tank the tank stuff's kind of easy during that phase you, you sure. wait for three stacks and then you just taunt and then during the transition you also want to get out of the way of there's a um a mind control thing it's very um, it's visually it's it's easy to recognize you just want to get out of that cone anyway you'll you'll go around the three different areas at the end you're gonna, you know cleave everything down and everything this is a fight where you have to um Pardon me, I had a cough there. Um, so there's a fight where you have to kill the bosses down kind of at the same time, the skinny boss and the fat boss. So yes. once you're done, once you're done with that, um, you will move on to the next boss, which is Unat, but you pick up the weapons that you were trying to get from the first boss. You pick them up in the hallway, you fall down this thing. There's no spoilers here. You're gonna you're gonna, you know, the, the cutscene starts, you fall down. You end up on these bones, you pick up the thing, you pick up your weapons, and then you head to Unat, you kill. This is where the most of the trash is. This is where you also have another mind control boss. If you want to have some fun killing your friends, this is where you do it. Um, so <clears throat> for Unat, it's a it's it's not a hard fight. It's just uh it's just it's you know, just like every other fight, it's just a fight you, you're gonna have to practice. Uh general tips for it. Never hit a healing puddle when you're not supposed to. He drops healing puddles during the fight. It's a little uh, red circle on the ground. You don't want to go near it. Don't hit uh -huh. it. He heals the boss. Um, you know, you're setting your group back by doing that. And always bait them to the sides when you can. So range when you spread out or melee. Um, you'll get targeted. Run to the edge. It'll put the healing stuff down on the ground. So... During phase one and phase three, uh, we are actually, you get these fights um, and these ads that come, the, the ads that come out are, oh God, what are they called? Chat room, help me out. They are, they're, they're, they're properly called, un, they're like unkillable something or other. There's a, let me, let me look this up real quick. Anyway. The, the, Unbreakable yeah. Go ahead. Schmitz. What are they? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. The unbreakable Kimmy Schmitz. That's exactly it. Two of them will come out and it's basically on a tank swap. So when the tank, the tank will get this debuff, the other tank runs off, keeps them 10 yards apart from the boss. So again, you're never going to hit a healing puddle when you're not supposed to <clears throat> bait the healing puddles to the sides when you can. Uh -huh. um, Crown reduces your damage. So only pop it when the ads are within kill range. Uh, bubble is great to keep people alive during high damage times. So find when people are dying and use it there. Um, don't push the guardians early. Keep them around 50%. That's what they are. They're, the, they're these guardians that spawn. And uh, yeah, if you, if you kill them down all the way, they heal all the way back up. So it's um, one of those things. <laughs> Hang on one sec here. Sorry. It's about a raid that. mechanic that you can't ignore. It's a raid mechanic you can't ignore. So you're not going to push these guardians early. Keep around 50% until you're um, Phase one, bait the pools. Don't get caught as the ring closes because there's a ring around the room. Don't get hit by floor stuff. There's, um, there's this weird um, dance floor thing that comes out on the ground. It looks kind of funky. You just don't stand in it. Um, and then when the lasers come out. You don't want to stand you know, on a funky dance floor? You don't want to stand on the funky dance floor because you will get my control. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what you don't want to do. Um, undying guardians. That is what they're called. Makes sense. They're undying. That's why you use the crown and you can burn them down. So uh, where was I here? I wrote down my whole list of things here. Um, <clears throat> so I said, don't get caught when the ring closes. Don't get hit floor stuff. Uh, and, and get through the first laser ASAP. Um, <laughs> so like what Terard said, there's these eye beams that come out. You know, you're just going to run through one, wait a couple seconds, run through the next one, and you're done. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, we didn't crown. We just killed off the tiny ads and then saved the Guardians. for. That applies to, um, what about the low beams? <laughs> yeah, Frasley. <laughs> Frasley is our happy Frasley's troll. Happy troll. Yeah. So, um, you know, if a cast gets off and the ads get to a full, uh, 
we didn't crown, we just killed a little tiny app and saved the guardians for transitions only. That applies to both transitions. You're gonna have a phase one transition and a phase two transition. If a cast gets off and adds a adds heal to full, gift also heals gift also heals them to full. So you have time, you know, everything else around those. You can drop the void stone shield um in a lot of ways to make sure it happen. Phase three is a long burn phase. That's your burn phase. You have uh-huh. to pace your cooldowns as much as you can. We didn't stack the torments. We had to hang out. Uh, we had everybody hang out near melee so they can, you know, everybody can dip in if needed. Um, you know, the bubble can get you through a set of lasers. Um, that's that's actually when we saved the last. We, we used one tank on, we used one of the tank bubbles on phase two, and then we used one of the tank bubbles on the second laser beam on phase three. Uh-huh. Um, you know, but you also want to keep the torment people alive during lasers. And also uh, what our babysitter, Raiden, God love him, because he 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 honestly does have to remind us every single time um, <clears throat> who our raid leaders, Phyllis, Ben, Miso, the same guy. He uh, always yells at us, don't kill your friends because your friends are going to get mind control. So <laughs> he has to remind us not to kill our friends because everybody likes to kill their friends when see it i mean so, you, you're already talking about like mind controlling people uh, on purpose well that's that's during trash that's different if you're doing it during trash that's fun but if you're doing it during a boss fight and you're you know causing your raid team to heal you know battle rest somebody that's that's you know no way bueno, i'm not not you know not good there so but yeah I, I i feel like i did kind of a a crappy job explaining that your best bet is to go out there and look hey i'll promote hazel nutty games go look at hazel nutty games video yeah, go go check out Fat Boss guys. They do a good job of doing that kind of stuff. But you know, it's it's a fun, easy fight. They're they're good. You know, it's a, it's a welcome change. Finally, get us out of Desara lore a little bit. So, but yeah, and then we proved ourselves worthy, and the horde get the the blade and take it back to Sylvanas, and we get a shadow of the blade and take it to Anduin. At the okay, end. let's go back. Let's Spoilers. go back. You say the blade. <laughs> <laughs> Zalatath, the black blade of the empire. Is that it? Is that what it's called? Zalanath? Zalatath? Zalatath. Zalatath. Or, uh, Naifu. Bay Naifu. Blade. There you go. There you go. Beyblade. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so Zalatath was actually drained at the end of Legion because it was the priest's um, shadow priest. artifact weapon. weapon. Mm-hmm. Right, the shadow priest artifact weapon. And they yeah. use that blade to on the on the sword everybody uses their artifact power on the sword yes. you know to, to take the power out of it and and she goes through and i am saying she because it is a it's a living being it's a she it's goes a through a phase of blade yes yep yeah, yep yeah. she goes through this um power down cycle where she's just low energy what what have you and then you find her and she's like i want some souls and then you go around and kill people get her some souls and then eventually she you know when you say uh, you Yep. What do you mean by you? I mean by you, the hero. You, the hero, find the blade. Have you not done this quest, Al? Okay. Does this quest happen <clears throat> after the raid? Let me, okay. So let me help you out because I did the same thing. If you look at your world quest map, yes. every single day there is a pearl quest. It start. It's a Naga quest. It's it's in an area. And if you look at it, it's just a, it shows up as a little pearl on the map. You go in, and when you go do this quest, there's an item that drops, and that starts the whole quest chain. I've been ignoring it because I'm like, I don't need that garbage. Like, I don't need that little trinket. I don't need to go do this. So, pearl? Yeah, the, go, yeah, go look at the world quests. Whenever there's a Naga invasion happening, it'll be a little pearl, and it'll show up as, like, a trinket that, or a buff that you get for an hour or so it's a buff yep and uh and during that a little during that something drops from one of the nagas that starts the quest chain and then you run around the 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 quest will start in stormsong valley and you'll go to a altar you'll see the blade it's sitting there actually i'm sorry the blade's going to be sitting next to a tortolan don't run to the tortolan and then run off looking for the blade the blade's actually sitting right there on a crate I did that too. Like I, I'm like, all right, I'm off, and I'm like, I don't have this blade. It's still sitting back by the Tortolan. Um, <clears throat> but that 
quest finishes at the end of crucible so at the end of that sure sure you, you'll pick the blade up and take it to anduin or if you're the horde you take it to sylvanas and that's you know then the quest goes on from there now box i have googled this mm -hmm. i have i've looked this up i've asked people yeah and i i've spent time trying to find this information and i I didn't, I didn't know about the I didn't know about it either. Thing. So, so, okay. So Jeremy I mean, Fiesel. I, I actually spent time looking for it. So I didn't know about any of this stuff till I watched the, there was Jeremy Fiesel did a, um, the 8.2 preview. Uh huh. And during the 8.2 preview, he goes into talking about this question. And I was like, WTF, what is this question? What's going right. on? And, it it's i didn't know anything about it so i had to go look it up and they're like no that's you go do the naga quest the naga drops this item it starts a quest chain for mm -hmm. for this uh zalatath and i was like son of a gun because i've been skipping it like i said i've been just skipping it I'm like, i didn't need it i've also been playing my horde tunes doing it on there too and i didn't even realize it how dare you i know i know <laughs> <clears throat> right and your horde tunes are your warriors, right? Oh my god! So no, my my main horde tune that I love was a Death Knight because it was the easiest. Oh, so the only reason I have a horde tune that was you know one hundred was because I wanted to go get those Rift as troll shoes, and yes. that's the only reason I made it. Very important. And <clears throat> and then I was like, okay, cool, I'll level it up. So I leveled it up to one twenty. Then. Then I, then I was like, I really want to unlock the Magar orc. So I, then I did that. And then I, then he is my other warrior that I'm leveling up right now. So I've got, uh, the high tor, I've got a high torn and I've got, uh, a Magar orc and I've got a coal tier warrior that I'm all leveling up at the same time. I got my coal tier to 58. He's sitting up there in, in, um, winter spring. And now I'm going to wait, I'm going to level up my, my orc to 58 and i'm going to level them side by side so i'm going to do like 10 levels on one 10 levels on the other you know just just for fun and i'm enjoying the horde storyline it's you know you know I, I am diehard alliance but i you know god i haven't done any it's it's like a different game when you're playing it on a different like different race so it's you know it's it's kind of i don't know it's fun <laughs> Well, Navix, thank you so much for not only breaking down the raids, but that quest that other people are probably going, oh my God, I've been skipping. Um, <laughs> I do have one more question for you. Sure. So you've, you've been a, a crew member, is that what we're calling ourselves, cast member of the show now? For <laughs> You've been a cast member of the show. You've been a troll of the show for even longer, yes. a fan of the show. So you know a little bit about what we do and what's going on. So keeping at the pace that we're going now, what date will we hit our 200th episode? Oh, wow. I do have it written down right here. When you okay, say keeping so to the pace that we're going now, do you mean including the one-month breaks we take every once in a while? Well, assuming <laughs> no one has surgery, babies, things like that, I have skipped, like, Labor Day, Memorial Day. And I have it right here. 200th episode. Was it going to be 5-6-2020? 5-3-2021. Oh, wow. We do Whoa. about 50 episodes every two years. Wow. So about okay. two years ago, we had the 100th episode. So 5-3-2021. Wow. So it actually two years from this Monday, like on Monday, two years in the future. Wow. You guys are going to have to do something big for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you were there for our 100th. <laughs> yeah. Didn't you like That's, dress wow. up and stuff for it? Uh, yeah, I, I did. They I dressed. Did. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. I have to do. Let's let's do that. Why don't you slow it down so like it's in the winter time, so that when we dress up, it's... <laughs> so it when was... you put your tuxedo on, you're not uh, sweating. Man, it'd be awesome. I'd be I mean, you tuxedo. live in Florida. So... Yeah, I, I do. I live in Florida, so I can't, you know, you know, grunt about the heat. So. <laughs> Well, Nav, we've covered a bunch of this earlier in the show, but to recap at the end, I would like to, first of all, thank you very much for being on the show, and secondly, mm -hmm. ask you how everyone can find you out and about the interwebs and what it is that you would like to pimp so that the whole world knows what's going on with the Navox. 
Sure. Uh, again, I want to just pimp out the face pull raid team. We're tanks, DPS, heals. Anybody who wants to come raid with us, come raid with us Tuesday, Thursday, 8 15 to 11 15 Eastern time. And if you haven't checked us out, check out the Uncheckled Fury podcast. Follow the show over at Uncheckled underscore Fury. And you can also follow Berserker Rage at Berserker Rage. Um, and you can follow me over on Twitter and Twitch. I haven't really been streaming all that much, but I plan to get back into it now that I've got these two little tunes that I'm making up here. But you can follow me there at NAV underscore OX, and that is both Twitter and Twitch. Awesome. Uh, thank all you right. so incredibly much for being with us again, like I said. Uh, we're going to switch over to T right now because she's going to hit right. us with the raid info. I am. Um, so, Ash is not here with us tonight. For Guild Haps, basically just watch the calendar, y'all. Things are on there all the time. Or, if you are in the CTR Discord, you can get yourself a friendly little CTR Guild tag, and we can ping you there when Guild Haps, Guild events are happening. However, with the raid report, so this is Esh's system, so I'm going to tell you right now, anything I mess up, I apologize for. Uh, Rubber Chicken Coalition, it looks like you guys have done some damage. You have Grong Heroic down and Unat Normal. We have Gluttons for Punishment taking out Opulence Heroic. Nine to Midnight and the Troublemakers have Conclave Heroic down. Marginally Competent, Salad Sin at let threat level midnight, bacon and kegs, fallen knights, gruels gone wild, and hump day heroes. King Rastakhan heroic all the way down. With that group, the troublemaker and marginally competent have also taken down Unat Normal. Banana Republic stand, stranded, stranded, not stranded, standard dragon protocol, unsung heroes, resolve and hell to pay have taken down blockade heroic. Banana Republic have taken down Restless Cabal in Normal, and Hell to Pay have taken down Unat in Normal. Epic Eggplant and Dark One's Own Luck have added Lady Jaina Heroic to their list of down bosses. Keep Going It's Fine and Hygel Fire Department have taken Jada Mas Jade Fire Master's Mythic down. Face Pull we talked about earlier, Unat Heroic is down for them. Rectifying and Edamame Enterprise also have taken Unat Heroic down. And Rectified and Edamame have King Rastakhan Mythic down. Kitty Cam. Man, that's... I can't, A lot I, of names. Yeah, every, <laughs> I know I say this every week, but that is just an incredible amount of just activity and, and raiding and killing and all that stuff that's been happening in the, in the, in the guild. It's just, it's really, it's really extraordinary. Shout out to Echelon, because his system, he must understand. So good for him. <laughs> With two raids going, this is not a fun system. Shout out to Ash, you couldn't be here. Uh, wow. Well, speaking of shout outs. I was just going to say, let's get some shout outs going. Chat room, if you have shout outs, throw them out to me. Um, I'm going to be conjuring up the hot Twitter mana buns tonight since uh, Ash is not here. And I will try and get the ones that are in the Twitch chat. So, Lord Xanthias, Banana Republic is the best bunch of Canadians. Also, Amanzi, Astara, and Rosie. They need to max out their Heart of Azrath, it sounds like, though. They are the raid leaders, so they should come prepared to raid. And he does a little cap sign, so he's just messing with you guys. I assume. I'm going to say he's just messing. Uh, Winchester, shout out going out to Thys. Today, it's her birthday, and she's an amazing podcaster and friend. Hopefully, she had a great day. Frasley, shout out to Turarts for bringing the fam to Draven's epic fail. I did. That was a lot of fun um, seeing Draven kind of off his game a little bit because uh, Taryn Gregory was in the chat, so... It was a little bit fun. Grave of Thrones says shout out to Rubber Chicken Coalition for blazing through Crucible and taking the hurt to Squidward and the rest of the Not End Old God crew. Kaya Finn, um, she retweeted our podcast just saying, ask her why she loves this guild. Um, just we had some fun threads going on. But then she also sent me a shout out. Thanks to Bartholomew, Navix, and Zandara for all the extra things they do to make guild life and greed life easier for the rest of us. Thanks for running the Greeter Asylum. Shout out to Drethen, Nin, Namistia, Theonden, Kel, Winchester, Knight, and Jayla. You've been helping me stay sane these past few months. Really fam, love you guys. And finally, shout out to every person that puts a teacher uniform on every day. You are a rare and special breed, and I thank you. It's National Teachers Week, and tomorrow is actually National Teachers Day. I do not see any shout outs on the Twitch, and I think those are all our Twitter shout outs. So, uh, 
that seems like it's going to be getting pretty close to time then, folks. How about you guys? Do you have any shout outs? I have shout out to um, the guy who sat behind us at Endgame because Miles was a little fidgety. He was fine, though. Like, he didn't talk or anything like that, but he was definitely a moving in his grooving in his seat. So um, mm -hmm. shout out to him for just being awesome and not really saying anything. But Miles sat through a three-hour movie without having to go pee. So that was pretty cool. Um, shout out to Bottle Spark just because there's been a lot of stuff we've been going through the past couple months. It's nice to be able to talk about it, but we still have a lot more to go in, like, 47 days. So good times. And shout out to Taryn Gregory just for being an all-around great person. Um, popping into the stream and chatting just like he was a regular well he is a regular person but still he's Taryn Gregory so I feel like yeah anyway those are my shout outs someone else go how about you Sal? I want to shout out to um <clears throat> I'm gonna give a shout out to miss one Mr. Ash tag Ash um here, here I'll second that <laughs> it was fun it was a good <clears throat> afternoon for me for for doing a, a really good troll today on our, our Twitter. Uh, dude, Twitter can be lit. <laughs> if y'all are on Twitter, you should be on Twitter. And uh, j just just to see what our guild does. It's like, it's like our offline chat room. Except it's online. <laughs> but, you know. Barf, do you have any shout outs? Um, yeah, I think I've got one. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to credit cards. Thank you, credit cards. <laughs> Sorry. You've been very helpful. I'd also like to give a shout out to Nav's cat, who was uh, providing all of the visual entertainment while T was busting out the uh, breaking down the raid report, uh, and uh, just generally speaking, being a fuzzly cuddler. That seems like it'd be a really great time over there. Nav, do you have anything before we go? Although I already asked you earlier, you covered it. You got yours. You want another one? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. No, we're all set. <laughs> That's going to wrap wrap it up for the night then, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank Navox, that fella, and Geek Chic Lisa for our theme music. You can find us on Twitter at converted underscore CTR. Tur Arts is at Tur Arts. Sal is at summer underscore Sal. Ash is at Echelon. And I am at a bonus level. When is the next episode? The next episode is Monday, May 20th. We're going to get back to our roots and do some raid team um, spotlights. Awesome. Can't wait for it. For Tour Arts. Bye. For Navox. Keep your swords wet and your banners high. For Sal. <laughs> Can you steal yours? Navox and in Berserker are the best bromance there is. <laughs> and for myself. We'll see you next time, everybody. You can follow the show on Twitter at Converted underscore CTR. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Converted Podcast. And find us on our Twitch channel, Converted Podcast. And join us live every other Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. This podcast is a part of the Signals Media All-Star Network. For more information on this and other fine shows, go to SignalsMedia.com. It's okay to stick our stuff in your ears. Really? Yay! So, uh, Yay. I was a little thrown off by the fact that my soundboard now has like a three-second delay on it, so I clicked the sounder to start the thing and nothing happened, and I was like, what's going on here? And then it started playing, so I was like, oh, it's a good thing I didn't say anything out loud. Uh, also, I figured out what that uh, slobs thing was in the very beginning of the show. Would you like to know? Yes. Uh, when I clicked record, it didn't. Oh. So oh. all that planning we did about how nice it was going to be and all the things. No. Sorry. Oh. I, yeah, my back hurts. Um, it was funny watching I'm, you do the little, like, across the apartment scoot. Across the apartment scoot? Yeah, oh, you were just like, like boop, 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 and just, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, what, what happens is um, sitting down kind of compresses my spine or, or puts, like, puts, like, pressure or something on my spine. So it's just like, it just, it's just.
it's nicer to stand up. <laughs> um, but I am drinking my very absolute favorite cocktail of all time. Ooh, what is it? This much orange juice. This much seltzer water. I think without Just alcohol, I don't know if juice. you're allowed to call it a cocktail legally. Yeah, just saying, there's no alcohol. <laughs> no, there's no booze. Um, but uh, or juice is really sweet. So I always mix it, just about always mix it with uh, seltzer water. Yeah, yeah. But I can't sit down anymore. I am, okay, I'm well, let's stand up. wrap up the show. I need to get one of those standing desk things. Put on top of my desk, or just a standing desk. No, 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 Thanks no. again for having a, me on, guys. You should get an elevator yes. floor. I should get an elevator floor. So instead of right. rising the desk up, just drop the floor three feet. It's yeah. perfect. Yep. That's perfect. Your downstairs That's... neighbor will be like, why the legs? Why? <laughs> It'll be fantastic. It'll be great. Um, now, Vox, thank you for c coming on um, yes. and freaking me out with a cat story. Oh, no. Thanks for having me on. I, uh, You're wrong, by the way, Nav. That doesn't make you crazy. Um, there are a number of boxes of pets at my mom's house. That's a normal thing that totally is real. My mom also has boxes like that. Mm -hmm. Never dug one up, though. Uh, yeah. And... You muted? Stop talking? I'm not muted. I said I, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, y y guys, I, I totally... Um, here's what I do these days. I sleep. I sleep a lot. Um, I'm still, like, healing and stuff, even though it's like I feel better. My doctor says... My surgeon said this is the danger time. Um, cause I feel better and now I'll, he says, you're you going to feel better, better but your but back's you... still broken. Yep. Yeah. So oh, if you, if you yeah. pick up a shoe box that has too many pictures in it, you die. Yeah. No, I, I, I <clears> make <throat> sense. Yeah. Just it's remember like, though, Batman, you know, after he had his back, after he had his back broken, worked out a lot and you really need to do that because that helped him recover. And he was able to climb an impossible wall. Exactly. Well, he took the ropes yep. off and that's how you know. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm I'm sleeping like ten hours a night, um, easily. Uh, just just because my body is still like healing, and like working really hard to do that. Mm. Ten hours a night is awesome, especially if your lungs are all full of juice from like the thing that you were saying. Um, uh, that too, yeah. And I had a train of thought that was like, well, I mean, she's going to heal up and her back's going to be better and then BlizzCon's going to happen. And I completely forgot to bring up on the show who all got tickets. Did you get tickets? Oh, my gosh. Navox won't go. We'll no, I'm not going this year, no. Her arts. If I am at my current job, no. I have to save my PTO for my sister's wedding. If hmm. Bottle Spark really does do something, um, then they're possibly with a media badge. So we'll see. That's exciting. Um, cool. I, um, I totally know all about accelerator. Ex uh, yeah, accelerators. I hope it yeah. were. I I don't didn't until this. Like I I was like this sounds like a scam when they're they're describing it to me. But it's actually it was pretty. The weekend I went, it was pretty nice to see all the work in action and the people involved. And I'm like, oh, this, if you put in the work, this can actually be something. Well, accelerators aren't free. Um, no. Uh, they, they have they equity get a piece and, of the action. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it, can, it could be quite a bit of equity. It could be like more equity than you, you want to give someone at this stage, generally. But uh, uh, office space, you know, just, just some some geographic, you know, like some, some geography, you know, a place to like sit together and like put your computers. I mean, that's, Oh, it was, this was, so this is the first time. Cause I, again, I don't go out like you all know that, but this was the first time, like I had met these guys. And so being in an office, yeah, I had to work on a MacBook, and that was like odd. 
very odd. Every yeah. every startup has Max. Yeah, and that's what they said. They're like everyone has Max. I'm like, where's <laughs> where's my home key where I can just make this? Because I was on a it was on a little MacBook, and I'm like, how do I scroll? So I'm sitting here, and I did this in my podcast. We have a list of like 1,500 things, and I'm scrolling by going like pressing my down, so the list is going down. And I was like, is there where's the home key so that I can just go up to the top of the page, or and I can go to the bottom of the page? And they're like, well, you don't have that. You just scroll. I'm like, I am, and I showed them, and they go, oh, honey it's the trackpad like it's all this two finger magic and i don't i learned a lot it, about it, it, you can get that four finger magic on there too there was yeah because if you do something where you go like it, it takes all your screen i don't know it was it was odd and then i made a comment and then they're like this is why we need an hr department and i was like listen here you butts um <laughs> which probably just furthered but no it was it was great and it was like I joke, I not joke, but I say all the time, like you don't need to go to conventions or go to things to meet people. You can still make a connection, but there really is something about that being able to like touch them and hug them in appropriate ways, obviously, um, and just being in the same room, like cussing and you do you like wh- whatever yeah. ways, it's fine. Touch them however you want, like, consensually, but yeah, it was, it was it was nice, and so we'll see what happens. I'm optimistic but i'm also it's just it's happening fast and quick and it's a lot of um, money and numbers and things and we'll see what happens we'll see oh. you have a zoo he does it's so cute watching all the animals come up and down the menagerie. <laughs> menagerie do you not have oh i guess he she lived in an apartment so he's not used to probably having free reign of stairs uh no but they figured it out real quick i guess you know well i mean the dog used to go down two flights of stairs to poop so he gets it yeah um the cats have always climbed cat trees so they get it too hey they don't care for each other the cats because cats are hateful creatures well it's like cersei and jamie the, Lannister. the young one likes to play and the old one likes to sit and those that's that fine doesn't... Yep, that's my cat. Nero likes to just sit, and Cal likes to play, and then Cal gets in trouble. Yep, that's how it is. All right. Well, I think I'm going to buzz off. Sal looks like she needs to walk. I need to sign off. I need to. The pre show was lit enough for the post show. (laughs) To watch the pre show. (laughs) I'm in pain. I just took a Tylenol. All right, guys. Bye, chat room. Bye, everybody.